Virtual reality can give you experiences that until now were impossible. The ability to put yourself in the shoes of any character you desire, to live the dreams that you had as an adult or child is now within the realm of possibility. Spider-Man for many is this dream character. To swing between the buildings of New York City has been something I've been dreaming of since I was seven. And virtual reality can bring you as close to that as possible. So that's today's mission, to find the best Spider-Man game on Quest. So essentially what I'm looking for here is a game that makes you feel like Spider-Man. I'm not particularly looking for a game that tries to replicate what a Spider-Man game would look like, but a game that captures the essence of web-slinging to make you feel like you're Spider-Man. That's today's objective. Believe it or not, there are actually a multitude of web-slinging games available on Quest, ranging from AppLab, the main store, to SideQuest. Most of these games are free, so that's always a bonus. I'm going to order these games in a top five format because there were a fair few web slinging games with some, well, really weird ones. Number five, Resist. This is quite easily the most beautiful of the five games. You have a full and detailed city to swing around and explore in. The game basically starts with you falling to your death only to learn that you suddenly have the ability to grapple from building to building. Now this game is very fast paced and you'll find the mechanics slightly different from the others as it does a lot of the turning for you depending on which comfort settings you have. The game itself is what I found incredibly difficult. To shoot and web sling is no easy feat. The web slinging in general is okay but if you get motion sickness this game will test you. All in all it's very good and you'll feel satisfied with the intense speed zooming between the buildings. The only thing that slightly puts me off is I didn't feel entirely in control of the web slinging which is understandable considering the amount of multitasking you have to do. Resist is available on the Quest Store for $14.99. Next up is Yupitgrad, if that's how you pronounce it. This is basically Plunger Spider-Man, where you swing your way through a complex maze-like space station. The cel-shaded graphics are beautiful, and the way this game plays is incredible. The plunging is really satisfying, and once you get the swing of it, you can get up to some serious speeds. The web-slinging is really smooth, and that's what I particularly enjoy about this game. The tight corridors and puzzles make this a pure joy to play, with over 50 levels to play, and also has one of the best and funniest voice acting out there. Into limitless power of you can actually get a free trial for this game, as it's on the main store, with a price tag of $10.99, which makes this a steal for the amount of enjoyment. The only thing that lets it down in terms of a Spider-Man game or experience is the lack of open areas. Most of this game is in tight corridors, and that makes sense considering what type of game it actually is. At number three is probably the simplest of web-slinging games in terms of graphics, but that doesn't take away from the satisfying nature of the playstyle. At first glance, you might be thinking, how is this better than the other two? But the freedom of movement, the persistent webs, and climbing had me playing this for way too long. You get a relatively large textureless city to roam around in, but to swing through the buildings with no A's, just you and your webs is incredible. The game doesn't offer much more than this, but if you want to feel like you're Spider-Man in an untextured world, then this is definitely worth a download. The game's called Silkworm and is available free on AppLab. At number two is a game very similar to Resist, and it's also on the main store. It's called Swarm, and it easily takes the win in terms of web sling and physics. You don't get a huge open area to swing in, but wow, it feels so satisfying to play. It's so incredibly seamless, and it doesn't take long to pick up. Not only that, but motion sickness was also at a minimum. The game itself is very much like Resist, where you swing around shooting robots, but in my opinion, it just does everything better. It's smoother and more satisfying to play. If the game was set in a city, then this would be my number one for sure. The gameplay and levels have an arcade feel to them. The game is relatively repetitive, as there are only so many variations to experience, but it does shooting and web slinging so perfectly it needed to be high on this list, as you really feel like some sort of Spider-Man Deadpool combo. Swarm is available on the Oculus Store for $18.99. At the number one spot is a game you've probably heard of, and it's within, well, VRChat. Both PC and Quest users can experience this, but it's by far the closest we have to a Spider-Man game on standalone Quest. It's called Spider's Lair, and there are several reasons why this is at the top. First off, it's multiplayer, so you can enjoy this with your friends. Second, it's super satisfying to play. The web sling is really good. Not quite as smooth as Swarm, but it's within VRChat, so that's expected. 
The world itself is detailed enough to really enjoy swinging between the buildings, helicopters and trains. You can walk, climb, jump off buildings and well, in general, experience what it's like to be Spider-Man. The map and game is also regularly updated with more intense locomotion options that my stomach was unwilling to try. As an all-rounded experience, it definitely deserves to be at the top. This game is obviously free as it's available within VRChat and it's 100% worth a try. Playing these different web-slinging games makes something really obvious and that Spider-Man belongs in VR. If devs were to commit to making an actual full Spider-Man game, that would be incredible to experience. You can already have a taste of this with PC VR, but a full game is something that needs to happen. And who knows, now that Iron Man has come to the quest, maybe soon we'll get a Spider-Man 2. If you enjoyed today's video, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.